I wouldn't be able to bring him back now. Sasuke has gotten way too strong for me. Well, in that case, I guess you're gonna need to get even stronger than that. Huh? I've been brainstorming and, uh, I have an idea. In fact, if this training pans out, Naruto, you may even surpass me. Hold on, surpass you, Kakashi-sensei? What are we gonna be working on? We're going to create an ultimate ninjutsu just for you. My own ultimate ninjutsu? Right. Actually, that's one of the reasons I called you out. Wanna try it? <laughs> right now, I have to get stronger no matter what. If there's even the slightest chance it'll work, I say we go for it! Good answer. We'll use the training field. Head over when you're ready. All right. The thing is, I have to help with this training as well. While I do that... I understand. I knew you would. Your sharpness makes my job that much easier. Hey, Sakura, are you sure? Isn't it gonna be pretty tough with just the two of you? Well, we can't help with the training. I want to at least do this. In exchange, you make sure that your training is a success. Got it? Yeah! Well then, shall we head for the training field? Kakashi's waiting for us. Yeah! I'm gonna nail this! Ah, here you are. Let's hurry up and get started, Kakashi-sensei! Wow. You're really raring to go. So, what do I do first? First, we check the nature of your chakra. The nature of my chakra? Uh All chakra has one of five natures. Fire, water, earth, wind, or lightning. Well, rather than going into details, let's try this. First, we'll have a light sparring match. I'll check your nature during the fight. Got it! I see. Okay, so what nature am I? Your chakra nature is wind. A chakra nature that slashes through everything. Outstanding in a fight. Oh yeah, I knew it! I'm unstoppable! Hold your horses. We've only just figured out what it is. Now comes the hard part of learning how to properly use and control your nature. Okay, let's do it! <laughs> now then, since Naruto's nature is wind, I know just the guy to bring in for help. Hey, come on. Let's take a break, all right? I'm beat from all this walking. We finished hunting the two tails and everything. No one's gonna care if we rest for a bit. Hey, yo, Kakazu, you listening to me? You talk a lot. What was that? Just be quiet and follow me, Hidan. Did you even hear what I was just saying? Did you? 
stonewalling again? Shut up. Don't make me say it again. Just be quiet and follow me. Man. So, uh, where are we headed now? The land of fire. Apparently, the Nine Tails Jinchuriki is there. The Nine Tails, huh? So, another sacrifice for Lord Jashin. I'll play with him and hurt him real good before I finish him off. Being motivated is good, but don't get carried away. It will come back to bite you one day. Come on, you're telling me that? <clears throat> yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Chapter 3. The Immortal Akatsuki. Darn it. Can't believe I lost again. Listen though, next time I won't lose. I'm gonna leave you with your jaw hitting the floor. I really can't see myself losing to you and Shogi yet, Asuma. Why you little... are you picking a fight? Still, that was an interesting move you played. What, the climbing silver strategy? Throwing away your piece in order to infiltrate the enemy's camp? I thought you hated moves like that. Against a superior opponent, one must make some sacrifices in order to protect one's king. What's up? Nothing really. It's just that I'm finally starting to realize the value of the king. Well, lose your king and the game is over, so... <laughs> if the Leaf Village were a game of Shogi, and Ninja the Game Pieces, do you know who the king would be? Huh? Well... The Hokage, right? I used to think so too. But it actually isn't. Then who? When the time comes, you'll know. Huh? Alright, I best be off. There's something you have to do? Yeah, just some drudge work for Kakashi. I'm headed for the training field. Later.